third mobile in the series of Montessori mobiles for babies is the beautiful Gobi mobile intended for babies 7 to 10 weeks of age. This mobile consists of five styrofoam balls wrapped in embroidery thread or yarn in varying shades of color that differ from each other ever so slightly. The purpose of this mobile is to further refine the child's developing sense of sight by providing a slight change in tone from one ball to the next. They're hung at a 45 degree angle with the darkest ball at the bottom and the lightest ball at the top. The manner in which the balls are hung from the dowel enable the baby to practice adjusting their focus from the ball that's closest to their face to the one that's farthest away. First, you'll need to choose the color that you'd like all the balls to be and choose five different shades of that color ranging from lightest to darkest. Traditionally, this mobile is made with embroidery thread, but you can also use yarn, which is what I've done here for our mobile. You'll also need a pack of styrofoam balls, roughly two and a half inches in diameter, a standard metric ruler, a wooden dowel cut to 18 inches in length. The diameter of the dowel is not really important. The one that we chose is one third inch. You'll also need a pencil, a simple crochet hook. I chose a larger one at six millimeters, a key ring for hanging the mobile when you're done, a pair of scissors, and a little bit of super glue. The first step is to mark your dowel where you're going to be hanging each of the balls at the three inch mark, the six inch mark, the nine inch mark, the 12 inch mark, and the 15 inch mark. Using the pointy side of the crochet hook, you'll want to drive a hole straight through the center of the ball as straight as you possibly can. I wasn't able to get mine perfectly straight, but I was able to get it pretty close. Once you've gotten it through the ball, go ahead and push it through the hole several times and kind of rotate the crochet hook a little bit just to widen the hole. This way it's a little bit easier when you start to do your threading later on. You'll repeat this process for the other four styrofoam balls. Next, choose one of your colors of yarn to start with and make a very tight knot around the pointy end of the crochet hook. Now it's time to start threading your yarn around the styrofoam ball. The first part you'll need to do is to actually run it through the middle of the ball and then tie it off so that it doesn't move. After that, it's simply a repeated process of constantly stringing the yarn through the hole over and over again until there's no more white from the ball remaining. If you happen to run out of yarn at any point, it's simple to just get a brand new piece of yarn, tie it to the existing thread, and snip the excess. You'll just need to make sure that you tie it off in a place that when you pull it back through the styrofoam ball, the knot that's showing doesn't actually show. It will be on the inner core of the ball. Once the ball is complete, you'll see that you end up with a nice neat hole on the bottom. The yarn completely covers the styrofoam ball in a single layer such that no styrofoam is peeking through. The yarn should exit from the top of the ball. You'll need to keep this yarn attached for now in order to suspend the ball from the dowel later. Repeat this process for the remaining four styrofoam balls, each in the various shades of yarn. Start by hanging the darkest colored ball at the three inch mark along the dowel. This will be the lowest hanging ball on the mobile with 12 inches of yarn from the top of the ball to the point on the dowel where it is tied. You can wrap the yarn around the dowel a couple of times before making your knot. Hang the next lightest ball in the series at the six inch mark on the dowel with 10 inches of yarn from the top of the ball to the point where it is tied. The third ball hangs at the nine inch mark on the dowel on an eight inch length of yarn. The fourth ball hangs at the 12 inch mark on the dowel on a six inch length of yarn. And the fifth and lightest colored ball hangs at the 15 inch mark on on the dowel on a four inch length of yarn. Once all your knots are tied, you can cut most of the excess yarn from the middle three balls. Do not cut the outer two yarn strings. Instead, you'll tie the two outer pieces of yarn together at the center point of the dowel, which should be roughly above the middle ball. You may want to test it out before knotting it in place by holding it in the air, just to make sure the dowel actually hangs level at the point you've chosen. Once you've tied your center point, you can tie the final remaining length of yarn to the key ring. This is what the mobile will hang from. Cut off any excess yarn from the key ring and the three middle balls and permanently secure the knots in place with a little dab of super glue. This is what your completed Gobi mobile should look like. The mobile should be suspended about 12 inches above your baby's line of sight in a spot that receives good natural light but not a lot of airflow so that it only rotates very slowly, if at all. 